All right, we back at it with a little tutorial. We're gonna grab our number three, open the bar or open the lever. We want to start debulking, and the comb the purpose it has is to kind of hold the hair in place so that if you go up like this, you don't have to go all the way. You can just hold the hair there and just kind of come in with a clipper and it'll just chop it off, you know. So this is just debulking. All right, once you've debulked, you want to create your bald line. And since I don't have much room to fade right here, I'm going to try and leave it pretty low to the natural hairline. Just to create a really smooth transition. And then the reason why I'm flicking out this way too is just so I don't set in a really harsh line. Makes the job a lot easier. Just grab your favorite. Alright, so I switched up my fading technique, so hopefully you guys can pick it up. So three, we're gonna go to one and a half. I'm gonna open this and click all the way into that three. This allows me to do some guard skipping and just finish the fade a lot quicker with the same amount of detail. So essentially I'm just going to fade down. Next up, to be a little confusing, but we're gonna grab our one and close it. We're gonna make our first guideline. But remember to not set such a harsh line to flick out once you get to the area where you're gonna start making the transition. It's kind of like you press in real hard in the beginning and then you just kind of scoop out. After you've done that, you want to open the lever and it should get that line out in the middle. The last guard we used is a one and a half, so this is technically a one and a half if you do it appropriately. Lots of flaking and low pressure. So you can see effortlessly, the line just gets faded nicely. And then in these spots right here, I'm going to avoid those because I feel like it's not going to gonna take off too much with just this. So I'm going to go back to the one and a half.
Fast.